Salam, salam. This is Unity, and I'm here to show y'all a quick way to package your hand painted earrings. Now, I've been packaging hand painted earrings for 16 years now, and to be honest, it was a lot of trial and error. I didn't have a video to show me back then how to package hand painted earrings. I ship in international, ship in many places, trial and error. The beautiful part, I didn't have a lot of problems. The, the problem kind of started for me is when I started doing fitness spotlights and I would receive packages, different companies that just not did earrings, but other things. And if they was handmade and they had a gloss on them, when I received them, they would stick. And it was times when I had to tell the business owner I couldn't do the video because the earrings was damaged. And to be honest with y'all, I had probably in 16 years, I didn't had, I can say about at least five could be more of people contacting me saying that the earrings was damaged that's just over the 16 years of like i say trial and error of packaging there's many ways you can pack your earrings and not just hand painted earrings different types of jewelry you want to make sure it's secure in the package i don't know if y'all ever been to the post office and y'all seen how packages are handled they're thrown there are thousands and thousands of packages on top of each other and they get squished and they sweat and when you're doing hand painted earrings you might think this dry and it feels dry and it could be dry but when it's laying on top of another earring if you do it this way whatever it is and it's smushed it's gonna stick it's best to separate if you got a longer pair i like to use these i've been using these these little baggies for the probably the last i say about four or five years, maybe lesser or maybe longer. And I just put it in here, take that little piece off, and I kind of move it around to make sure the hook won't be in or nothing like that. But this will be fine like that. I'll just lay it in here. And these pack these these um let me bring that I put that down a little too much. That's what I like about these. You can open them and you can close it. And if you feel like you want to put like a ear a earring board or something in there to to make it like a piece of cardboard, if it's a long earring, you can do that too. And then I'll just pack it like that. There's other ways you can pack it, but this is an easier a way that you can a quicker way to show y'all how to pack it. I pack it many different ways, depending on the size of the earring and depending on how many earrings in that order. Same with this size right here. I just close it up and I do the same with the next one. I already done took the strip off this one. And what I like about these packages, you could always close it up like that. And then take it off. It's easier for the customer to go in and, and grab the order. And then I just take a little stapler and put it there. You can put your, your labeling and all that on your earrings. And it's just best to keep your earrings separated. You want to make sure that you, when your customer get the order that it's not damaged. Another thing is... When you glossing, no matter what type of gloss you use, if you're using a risen, if you're using a triple thick or a glossy gloss, sometimes a matte gloss, it will stick. So make sure you separate the earrings when you package it. Inshallah, this will help y'all. Another thing is, especially when, with glitter, if you're using glitter on an earring and it's like this, and after a while, it's packing, it's hot, it's sweating, a whole bunch of packages on top of, top of it. And you just put it literally in a package like this. Even if you flip it over to the back, you put it in a package like this. And yeah, that, that's cute. If you put in a package like that, and it's supposedly be dry, and the way things are shipping... 
when they receive this and they open it up it's going to be sticking it will stick and another thing be careful like if you put little gifts and stuff on your hand painted earrings inside the packaging don't never lay like anything if it's a a car shell or you just want to send them something it will stick so make just make sure that when you pack your orders that you separate them as you pack them all right y'all inshallah this can help y'all don't forget to pick up litter in your community respect those that respect you a beautiful comment adopt a pet in from your local rescue or shelter subscribe to this channel if y'all haven't joined a membership, join it. The link is all in the description box. And the links for these packaging is in the description box. All right, so long, so long.